CPHI Miss Exam Preparation Question and Answer Question number 51 Which of the following tools best determines the ability of a vendor application to fit into an organization's unique process? A. Request for proposal B. Client scripted demonstration C. On-site widget D. Reference call Answer B. Client scripted demonstration. Question number 52. Physician asked, why is it that we need a testing methodology for this EMR system? A. To utilize project team fully. B. To ensure that stakeholders of the EMR system have confidence in the system when going into production. C. We are getting reimbursement for meaningful use and we have to spend the money. D. It is mandatory in SDLC. Answer B. To ensure that stakeholders of the EMR system have confidence in the system when going into production. Question number 53. Which of the following is the first step in a workflow analysis? A. Review and assessment of the current state. B. Define the future state or goal. C. Identify the benefit of each process change. D. Ensure there is a plan for evaluation of new processes. Answer A. Review and assessment of the current state. Question number 54. Providing healthcare now involves utilization of advanced messaging techniques such as secure messaging through web portals. How can doctors be more efficient in processing of secure messaging? A. Show the providers in detail how to send messages. B. Review all bells and whistles about. Uh, sorry. B. Review all bells and whistles with advanced secure messaging. C. Set up terms associated with providers who can help resolve appropriate messages. D. Ensure that rules of timelines of secure messaging is well explained. Answer C. Set up teams associated with providers who can help resolve appropriate messages. Explanation. Teaching is an important part of onboarding, but also establishing profiles for providers will do wonders for efficiencies. Setting up clinic profiles with additional individuals who can respond to secure messaging will de decrease the load of work of your new providers. Question number 55. Processes of reviewing system by an external organization in order to ensure that it meets standards set by the organization is known as A. Confirmance B. Validation C. Certifications D. Functionality Answer C. Certifications. Question number 56. Package release, full release, and delta release is part of A. ITIL, B. PDCA, PDSA, C. PIMBOK, and D. ISA, CA. Answer A. ITIL. ITIL stands for Information Technology Infrastructure Library. Question number 57. 
Navigating a new health system can be daunting with all the rules. What approach will LDA have like, like lines of success? A. Establish a body mentor and organize forms in easy to find location. B. Show which forms matter to physician and demonstrate how to complete them. C. Invite departmental secretaries to training sessions. D. Teach the providers medical assistance how to obtain forms. Answer A. Establish a body mentor and or organize forms in easy to find location. Explanation. If professional athletes have numerous mentors and coaches, then your providers can also benefit from mentors and coaches. Partnering providers with mentors who have experience in navigating your health system will help them feel they can reach to resolve problems as they, as they arise. Question number 58. A delta release in ITIL is defined as a bundle of full and or delta release and their related applications and infrastructure. B. All component of software that are tested and distributed in its in entirety. C. Partial emergency or temporary fix. D. A release based on PDCA slash PDSA framework. Answer C. Partial emergency or temporary fix. Question number 59. These tools are used to verify or confirm the identity of the user requesting access to information. A. Administrative controls. B. Authentication. C. Access controls. D. Physical controls. Answer A. Administrative controls. Question number 60. A physician has an idea about using information systems to support clinical workflow. The analyst first step should be prepared A. A. Functional specification document. B. Technical specification document. C. Functional requirement document. And D technical requirement document answer C functional requirements document explanation a function requirements document is a high-level document describing what functionality is desired and how it could be delivered 